All right, we're going to be making a boring bar holder for the uh, for a half inch boring bar that comes with the um, boring headset. This is a Microlux um, mini lathe, seven by fourteen, and it is from Micromark. And here is the boring head that I bought, and it has some half inch. Uh, boring bars and if you bought the boring bars uh, set like this one they're useless you can see the the angle in there that's for a nice big bore um, otherwise if you're going like a half inch bore you can't even use that because you'd need to grind a big clearance on there and that's just a waste of time. So the boring bars that uh, come with the boring head though they're actually they're pretty good for that. This is kind of what they look like. You can see there's a lot better clearance on that. So we're going to make a little boring bar holder and all of them have a half inch shank. I'll just take these out of here. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so once we get a boring bar holder, we'll be able to put that into the lathe and use it for turning a, a bore. So I've got a square block. Uh, this is just aluminum. I find it's so much easier to work with. And the four jaw. And I've made a mark um, where I roughly where I want the um, the center of the boring bar so just measure a half inch hole and make sure you that's where you want it and then it's a little off um, to the left side here you can see and then on this side we're going to mill that down so that uh, it will fit into the the quick change um, tool holder right here and we'll want to do that so we can adjust for center height easily without having to shim or anything. All right, well, I'm just gonna drill this uh, center hole. See it's kind of off center there. Okay, so we have a 1764ths um, drill bit here. So we're going to drill a pilot hole, and because the machine isn't very rigid, especially this uh, tailstock, we'll have to go up. Um, we'll have to enlarge that bore with uh, different size drills. in size till you reach a half an inch otherwise it just chatters like crazy and we're gonna do um only inch and a half roughly deep to accommodate this um, uh, half inch portion of this uh, of the boring bars so they're all inch and a half so that'll work push it because it does stall this little machine. And there we go. Good enough. Yeah, that's my pilot. That's my pilot hole. So like I said, you're going to want to um, 
enlarge the hole slowly. Uh, you can try it yourself if you like. I've tried it before and it gives quite a bit of vibration. So go up by eighths. This is a three eighths. from here on and it's not really not very difficult just cutting with the edges anyway I do kind of a almost like a pet drilling cycle and this one you don't have to pull it out too much tips to come out pretty easily I'll feel the bottom of the hole Deeper. Make sure I get the full. There we go. All right. So it's three eighths. So we've got our half-inch hole right where we want it, and these boring bars. Yeah, you drill. It's usually a little bit, tiny bit oversized. So. That fits in very nicely. Tiny bit of play, but that won't matter. So here's the setup for uh, milling the um, the part that's going to be get clamped in the quick change tool holder on the lathe. You can just ignore this um, that stuff. That's just from a different project. But there's the block. There's the half inch hole. And this is longer than what I need, but you can always cut it off later. Um, and this is the what we're going to be clamping in. It's 350 thou deep. And so that's um, that's how deep we're gonna want to go, and we're gonna want to make it as thick as as this. Daddy. So just those two measurements. Daddy. And that's Daddy. the that's the um, <coughs> key sort of boss that you're going to make right there. So we're going to touch off here and mill off the sides. So now I'm just milling the uh, the second key uh, side, whatever. I've got the um, this side done. It's uh, 350 thou deep for the depth of the, um, the tool holder part. And this is going to be 450 thou wide. And I've set this um, stop here to the depth, so then I'm fine feeding down with this. <coughs> I got a roughing end mill, so let's do this. So I'll just go down so it looks looks good. Go back. I don't want to be feeding against the, the cutting forces. So I'll go back and then adjust for my final cut. There we go. Finish off. Go down until I hit that stop. That'll be my final cut. Stop. Right stop. It'll vibrate a lot. It's not a very rigid machine. So 
So there's the key to clamp on, and it's uh, you know right there. So close enough anyway for what we're for the adjustable tool height. So I actually got this call at Grizzly because. Uh, Micromark was always out, they never had stock, and I just rigged up this uh, piece of ready rod with a um, hole drilled through it, and I drilled through a nut, put a piece of wire or something in there, and this is just a, just a piece of material with a hole in it for a big washer, and just tighten it on there to hold it in, because the, um, the drawbar that comes with the Micromark this one is, uh, I think it's 3 eighths, or uh, it's a little bit bigger. Anyway, it's not the same size as this one. So now we're going to just uh, clean this up a little bit. We'll be able to, actually we'll have to turn it and put the screws in there for, for clamping. I'm just going to do a, a quarter inch 20 holes in here to clamp onto the, the boring bar. So I got this part cut off. Actually, could have started off with a shorter piece like this and just drilled straight through, but whatever, not a big deal. Um, so now I need to uh, clamp it, and I'm going to drill some holes here. I'm going to lay them out very roughly, just with a marker, and then I'm going to drill the tap drill size, and then tap them. So here's my piece, and I'm just going to drill the hole, this drill bit, but first I'm just center drilling, and um, the, the, um, since I'm tapping uh, quarter inch 20, the tap drill size is a number 7 drill, in case you actually wanted to use the exact same one. the hole there and swap out that drill. So I just put a couple of drips of this aluminum cutting fluid, A9 it's called, but it's not really necessary. I'm gonna just go through that. There we go. And I'm going to chamfer the the hole as well. It's not a countersink, but it's just to start the tap. Not a big deal. So I usually like to start the tap in the um, in the drill if using the drill. I'm going to use two hands. I have to use two hands for this, so I can't hold the camera. But I'm just pushing some pressure down and turning this with my hand just to make sure it goes in straight to start off with then I can just hand tap the rest of it so that's started in there and then I'll just uh, loosen this off raise this up and then I'll just go grab my uh, tapping handle and finish tapping that